hizi ni kama marriage tumeipatia 5 year average term ya kuka. what do you think about the breakup that is happening recently what do you think is causing it watu haiwezi pita 5 years after the wedding so peer finances to be honest mimi na feeling wase wasaidiane kwa marriage si ati mzee mzee akuwe tu ile ndo anafanya tu kila kitu unaona so na pia dem pia akifanya asianze kuleta kifua unajua the end of the day huyu mwanaume atakuwa kichwa na atazidi kuwa kichwa huyu atakuwa shingo Ladies and gentlemen, to ha tuko hapa kwenye exclusive listening party ya King Kaka and we're right here with Nana. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? You look amazing Thank tonight. You. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You look lovely as well. Thank you so much. That's such a compliment coming from you. <laughs> Before we even ask him, what do you think was the inspiration behind Rhythm, Rhyme Book, Yanatkes? Um, of course, from the name, I think he's already explained that. Now, Natkes is his bigger brother. He's like the second born. You know, King Kaka is the third born in their family. So the second born is called Dennis. But of course, his, his stage name was, was yeah, because he doesn't sing his rap as he used to. Uh, his name... His name, his stage name was Nat Case when he was a rapper. So I think the inspiration is just him being, you know, you know, the big brother. You know, when when you're small, you want to look up to your bigger brothers because you you feel like they have the ropes of how you know things are done and adulting stuff like that. So uh, he looks at him like that. So for me, and the name itself already is just you know self-explanatory. The fact that he's looking up to his brother and his brother's a rapper writing a rhyme book. Una just kuzi watoi wa nandika mangoma kwa nini kwa tu phones nini nini sai kitambo ilikuwa kitambo nandika rhyme book kwenye walini. When you were Lenny Hilda, because you know back in the day, you remember Nation Kitambo ilikuwa inatokea gazeti yenye ilikuwa Sunday kona adi lyrics to the song, boom, boom, ba, you know like that, so we used to stick those to, to, rhyme, to rhymes kwa kitabu and then the next time manze wenda unajua kuimba because you already stuck those lyrics, so umeshazi master, so I think in his self-explanatory, the fact that ni rhyme book yake, so literally ni kama, Yani ni ni kama mepata rainbow kia natske siani yeah nice nice what would you say is your favorite song kwa hi dasema the favorite favorite what chance is that my favorite like ni zote na zile like but kuna moja yenye ame perform na jadi really really nice nice song yake pia na prezo really really nice song but they kama ni ni mi ni mezikilia hapa hapa. Yeah, uh, yes, yes, yes. I don't listen to his songs before because I also want to be surprised as much. I don't want to take that away from myself. Yeah, so siskizangi mziki before you talk pia mimi. Na kuanga kama nyinyi na ipata kwa ground. Kuna siku labda tutaona ukifanya labda collabo na yeye. Collabo. It's not that easily transmitted. Wacha imbe. Iko tu sawa, mimi siezi imba. I don't think I can. I don't Kobafu <laughs> sawa. Kobafu. Ah ah. Okay, I haven't looked at music like that. Na feelingi music ni talent yenye unakuza, you know. So if si kukua hivyo and I don't look at it like that. If I focus probably na Zaimba but sijui kama na Zaimba but I haven't looked at it like that. Naona yeye ndo musician, afanye kazi yake mimi nifanye yangu. Yeah. Could you maybe be raising future musicians? Maybe one day we'll see a dad kid collab with one of his kids. I mean, yeah, if they, they if they want to follow that route, then why not? Eh, me kwetu, watu wetu tu na waletingi wadu vitu. How wanna feel? Um, my do, my firstborn, Gwet, Gwet uh, plays football. She's in a football club. Uh, na pia na chora, so akona art classes. So mi use manga watu wangu nataka kuwa fanya, wafanya kitu wako passionate about in the near future. Because when you're passionate about something and you're doing something passionately, you don't feel like you're working. So, yes, you're working, but then it's, you're enjoying in the process. And, and life is too evil. Just enjoy yourself in whatever you're doing. That's it. So, waki end up wa naimba na babayao, so be it. Now tell us what's going on with Nana, by the way. Umekua wapi, nini unendeleza. Mimi nimekua wapi? Yo ni swali inasikia, ni kama nita kushoot. I'm joking. But yeah, nimekua tu kwa ground. I have a new sports show uh, in it was Tough Talk T U R F T A L K. 
na iko kwa channel yangu ya YouTube inaitwa Bainana Witi and mostly I'm really passionate about sports and especially Kenyan football and and, and especially women football na feel we are not giving them the you know the attention they deserve I mean tuangalie starlets vile walicheza tunangoja sai watapiga the, the next team and then angalia two rising starlets as well wamepiga Angola for nil juzi wale wapiga hapa home 61 like if we support these kids ulinzi starlets as well that's my team uh vihiga queens like to gaspo women if tutapea hawa say hiyo attention wana deserve itasaidia itasaidia pia football industry because na feel it's a multi billion nini industry but we are not paying attention so of course guys Please tukutane tu kwa study tuone easy games za Kenya si ku support tu Chelsea na Manu <laughs> eh to support pia kwa ground so that's basically what i've been doing recently but of course pia ni kona ile parenthood 101 where i talk about you know like parenting journey you know as a whole i also have nana nation i talk to different women about you know things that are, uh, affect our society so basically that's what i'm doing at the moment speaking of things that are affecting our society excuse me come marriage to my party a five year average term ya kuka what do you think about the breakup that is happening recently what do you think is causing it what i was if it five years after the wedding yeah i mean to say marriage kila kila marriage na kujana ni kama constitution you know so every marriage is different and i wouldn't say what works for me might work for you at the end of the day it's about communication and not just communication but comprehension when you com- communicate to your partner do they comprehend do they understand what you're saying cuz mimi na feel vitu mingi sana zina break because hakuna communication watu waongeleshane na wakiongeleshana kuna ego battle you know like i'm a woman i can do if if we walk in you know ch- chest thumping in 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 situation you know in marriage in partnership manze ita itafika tu mahali ko elastic limit so if to understand yana tuongeleshane and then always you know i vile mi 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 work na yangu ni ko i always ask myself swali like if ningefanywa hivyo would i be okay with it so with that in mind then i can make informed decisions so peer finances to be too honest mimi na feeling wase wasaidiane kwa marriage si ati mzee mzee akuwe tu ile ndo anafanya tu kila kitu unaona so na pia dem pia akifanya asianze kuleta kifua unajua at the end of the day huyu mwanaume atakuwa kichwa na atazidi kuwa kichwa au atakuwa shingo but you have to work together cuz the head can't work without the neck so uh, na feel to ki respect mzee wako na msikizane na muunderstandiane mtafika tu mali mnaenda lakini hapo kwa finances you know analisa wonders about not supporting men ukiwa yeah. support wanaenda wanapotea na inabaki everything you did for him is almost like he's ungrateful what do you think about that but everyone can only speak from their point of view you know so um, partnership ni kama biashara unaona marriage ni kama biashara so if you run it like a sole proprietorship then it acquire sole proprietorship if you run it like a partnership the way you are supposed to run it as then it a, it a work because wezi niambia i'm raising sons yeah and i honestly want to i want to be the, the, the person they look up to in terms of marriage like nataka akiniangalia nataka mtu mtu like a, kijana wangu akiulizwa unataka partner kama gani i honestly want ku mtoi wangu adet mse mwenye i can only be that person mwenye nataka au emulate and that comes with manze ni ku hard ilda ni ku hard sana so hebu imagine kuachia tu mse wako afanye kila kitu honestly speaking you think it's right absolutely not imagine even ndo utaingisha kijana depression wallahi tena imagine but hebu imagine mkisaidiana wewe ona sasa ile unasema yafanya hii nifanye hii ona vile vitu zina work but ukijieke hapo ati yeye mwanaume akuwe provider wewe shauri yako <laughs> what should you say is that one thing about king kaka that you would want your sons to emulate almost everything is is like dasema <sighs> to arrive at the person he is right now has been a process he was never this person and i always say that like 
he was not the person. Like Unge Niuliza, a couple of years ago, I'll probably say, Ay! <laughs> but then, um, at a year, I may evolve. You know, you You can't be the same person that you were five years ago. And for him, it's taken a lot of unpacking. It's taken a lot of... Lazima pia ya kuwea willing kusema, okay, inaendaje. Because saingine unaweza kuwaza mtu na ujuu na mkuwaza, but akisha kuambia, e unanikuwaza hivi. Then, wewe ukwe receptive of kile unambiwa. But unona watu wengi wanakuanga zile defensive. Like, by the way, I think tumetrainiwa. I think ni hardship tu zetu mbaya. Tumetrainiwa, lazima ukwe defensive. Uji defend, yani, before ukubali. Unajua, badala utekin kile unambiwa, uanpak kile uliku unajua. Na, uweke hii bagu kwe aya, uanze ukwe receptive of ideas zingine. Si ile tu kitu uliku unajua. Iyo ndo shida mingi sana na wase. Yeah. All right, Nana, I want to say congratulations. You've been with Kaka for so many times. We've seen so many situations, challenges in life, of course. You've been there to support Kaka. Now, one, I want to say congratulations now. Your son, Royal, and a graduate. I'm a graduate, Leo. Yes, how do you feel as a mom to see your son graduating? It's epic, to be honest. It's, it's epic. It's been a journey. And now, uh, Nanga, too, I say, oh, Royal, Royal. Yeah, Royal did, didn't grow like under my heart but he grew in inside my heart you know like sim i didn't bath him but he's he's my child you know but the virtue of this is the only family he knows so i'm like super super excited for him he's a very good footballer football club so I'm, like today has been epic honestly you as a mother is always happy to see one of your, I say a big daughter, adopted uh, daughter, Kanambo, doing very well exercising in school. As a mother, do you reflect now the journey up to now? What have you learned maybe from Kanambo and then moving forward from Kenyans to learn from you? For me, this is not the first time I'm actually raising a teenager. I've raised my sister, so it's, it's not really an, a new journey for me, but it's, it's challenging, of course, because Mashida ni different, you know, like back in the day ilikuwa shida zingine, but now of course we do mobs in a change, but I'm, I'm super excited for Kanambo because one, one, she listens, two, she communicates her feelings, and I don't, you know, like, want her to shun away from speaking her heart and how she feels, so I, I, I honestly want to be a big sister to her as much as I am a mother, and, and just to see her, you know, spread her wings to fly and just be this all-rounded person good in, in in school and still do her music and now finally by this quiz she couldn't do that before so I, i'm just happy I, i'm just blessed i am super blessed to be honest yeah well, maybe my last question will be that uh, you know kaka melelo islando now boy wa mtaa wananga story na love na romantic but you know this year will kwa london eh ana ku treat ana kutumia messages Prepare sometimes on a Nakula dinner for Moza, breakfast for Moza. How do you feel now? Love your Eastlands in the Kujabaka Kanyumba. I'm a com romantic till now. Tasema, it's been intentional. It's, it's, a, it's an intentional decision for him to not be whatever they say Eastland boys are supposed to be, but you want to challenge the norm and, and do better. So it's, it's something that has been a process. It's a due process where. Of course, kuna vitu mingi haku anajua, but pole pole tu anaenda ki adapta kijua. So I'm super happy. This is the happiest I've been in my life. Yeah. Just on a music aspect about Kaka. You've been there close to Kaka. You're more than a friend to Kaka. What is that one thing maybe Kaka wants to achieve as an artist? Is it performing in, in, on those big arenas? Is it uh, winning Grammy Award? What is that one thing that Kaka always pushed to achieve in life? As an artist. Yeah. But that's his story to tell. <laughs> that's definitely his story to tell, not mine, but I'm sure you will know. <laughs> that's his story to tell, we not mine. No, we share dreams that they're supposed to be to now. Right now, apart from music now, as a dad, what is that Kaka always make sure that family come first? I know that, but family never miss. What is that thing? Time. He's always creating time, which is the most priceless resource ever. So for him to just be intentional and create time for his family, that's an absolute win. Maybe sasa a word to Kaka? Ombima. It's 
I'm so happy to, to see uh, you achieving all your dreams. Anything that you write down, anything that you say you will, you do. And I'm here for it, man. Go for it. The world is your oyster, man. Yani, achieve kila kitu because mina juwa uta achieve too. This is just me telling you, I got your back. <laughs> Maybe as we finish, I want to your fans, Sasa. Thank you guys for supporting me, always. Thank you for every person. I don't like to call you fans, but thank you for every family that, you know, comes to support me in whichever way, in whichever form, shape. I am here just to say thank you and please subscribe to my YouTube channel by Nana Owiti Jinamoja and then watch to Nafanya Squeezy Sports Sana. So yeah, watch watch that and subscribe. Nawapenda Sana. Thank you so much. Thank you.